how much does my body want right now? Yeah. But I just know as the day goes by, it diminishes how much I'm drinking. Yeah. Yeah. Good, good. Especially if you got that in the morning, you got the hydration in the morning. Yeah, okay. And then so you just sip in more. between meals, never with the meal, right? Because what does that do? Dilutes your so acid. Dilutes hydrogen. your hydrochloric yeah. acid. That's okay. why. So the best thing to do to, to as far as building that line of defense is to drink water a half an hour before your meal, to get that mucosal lining in the stomach again, to. In, you know, get those uh, that hydrochloric acid going. You can do uh, bitters, Swedish bitters. Katie likes to do her Swedish bitters. Mm, yeah. um, do that raw apple cider vinegar shot with a little bit of water. Just I take it down. Some. That's the best mm. thing. On so many levels, that one little thing that we established in workshop one of the apple cider vinegar or that lemon water, and that costs you nothing. But it is everything when we go when we start to go into. The liver, it helps the liver detoxify, therefore it helps your digestion, therefore it helps your nutrition, therefore it helps your um, your intestinal tract to be healthy, therefore it helps your hormonal balance because you're releasing xenoestrogens, therefore it helps your immunity because your hormones are balanced, everything's fine. You know, everything builds. And this stuff will start to really get in gear, you know, once you just keep, what's the yama or the niyama? Um, Svadhyaya, right? Self-knowledge or self-study. Yes. Constant self-knowledge. Self, like constant learning of the nature of the universe. That's what we're supposed to do as yogis. Constantly be learning. So let this build, like your immunity. Let your immune build. When you get sick, let yourself be sick. Get yourself Get all the vitamin C. So what do you do when, you're, when, when you need to build immunity and you feel your immune system go low? Vitamin C. What's all the stuff we know? Echinacea. Echinacea. Now that's a good sun. herb temporarily. Temporarily. Not long term. Just when you really need it. That's when you're really using the power of that echinacea medicine. Just right when you need it and then you're off it. Same with garlic, right? You're not, if you really want the power of that garlic, don't eat it every day, and then when you really need it, totally intensify the amount of raw garlic you get in, and it'll have a really profound drug-like effect. Vitamin D, get out in the sun. Yes, vitamin D, get your sun light on the skin, which helps you to make the proper calcium. You know, you're taking those calcium tablets, and that's not going to be properly absorbed by the body. It causes more uh, calcification of the body in the form of cataracts, bone spurs. Um, what other things are calcifying in the body? Because kidney stones. Kidney stones. Arthritis. Yes. Yeah. You got to get the right. You got to get the sunlight. You got to get your magnesium. You got to get your green leafies, your cacao. Okay. Woo. <laughs> Where are we going now? Um, what comprises 75% and more of the immune system? Probiotics. Pro-life. So what's the biggest thing that destroys this? That destroys 75% to antibiotics. The human body can really only handle like one or two doses of antibiotics and they're getting prescribed like that, right? Like babies. Um, ear, you know, you hear these stories of ear infections and ear aches and, and moms not knowing anything about natural healing and, and they're on, they've got their babies on 12 rounds of antibiotics every month. Mm -hmm. Wow. You hear, there's stories like that, right, ladies? I mean, those of you that have been... Whatever happened to smoking a cigar into your kid's ear? <laughs> That's what mom used to do. <laughs> or cutting an onion and putting it on there. Or a castle. That's a very castle. Warm, 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 warm. So, you know, to build a new it, like it, uh, <laughs> it does take knowledge and it takes patience. perseverance and patience to be a, a, a healing mom and to be a healing, mm -hmm. a healer of yourself because you, you, are, you are working with nature. To, to what extent am I going to let this bacterial infection go? To what extent can I try this herb and then this herb to find my right medicine for me? Mm. It takes a strong person to do that. But if you're not doing that, then you're a total victim 
to that system that will only prescribe drugs. And that's not, that will, that will help you temporarily, but it's not going to get at the cause of what has made you sick. And what has made you sick has been built up from foods that you have been building in the body, toxins that you have been building in your body, um, malnutrition that you have not been getting into your body. This is, your health has been built up. You have created your health at this point in time, where it's at. But you can start to rebuild it properly. I mean, look at how, how quickly the eyes, the cells of the eyes regenerate when you, when you get cat surgery or you get in, um, your eyes uh, damaged, your eyes heal quick. The body regenerates. So you want to take that opportunity in the, in, the, in the body's ability to regenerate itself, to feed it the building blocks that it takes to build from good blocks. Every, I think every seven years the whole body is totally renewed, right? Mm -hmm. Some that's why the seven year itch. I'm a new woman, I'm a new man. I'm a new woman, I'm a new man. Because I'm a new person. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> um, that's the me too. <laughs> Actually, Deepak Chopra in his uh, book, Healthy Aging or Anti Aging, I can't remember what it's called talks about how the body renews and it's different amounts of time for different systems. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Well, like the eyes me. is like three days, I think. Mm. Yeah. Does anyone else know? Um, the liver? I know the gut is um, two weeks. Uh-huh, yeah. Well, my doctor like recently that. told me that. I think the liver is like 21 days or something I, like that, I, that right? Right too. Don't quote me on any of these, but we get the idea that things in the body regenerate at different points of time after a certain duration of time, but they do regenerate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's very hopeful. Mm -hmm. So every time you eat certain things that are, you're either destroying your health or you're, uh, you're building it up. Mm -hmm. So if you can get to 60% building it up, 70% building it up, and less and less, the, you know, like be easy on yourself. Yeah, we're, we're in a society that's infiltrated with Toxins everywhere. I mean, even if we eat really pure, we're getting it from the environment, from the car in front of us. It's just realistic. But try to get that percentage up, because that's how we're going to get a better, stronger immune system, which is better health. Your ability to fight disease. How is the immune system compromised? Think of all the workshops so far. Processed food, that would help. Processed food, toxicity, antibiotics, stress. Big one. Yes. Who is that guy? Toxicity. Yeah, toxicity. Toxicity in our products that we put on our skin. Mm -hmm. By not taking in the nutrition that supports it. Yep. Malnutrition. Lack of exercise. Yep. Don't Lack of things. exercise. You're not getting your blood flowing. Lack of sunlight, lack of appropriate rest, lack of laughter, mm -hmm. lack of exercise, basic laws of health, right? That don't cost you anything, that just take lifestyle changes. So any, any lack of that is going to depress your immune system. White sugar is totally, totally Depre a depressant on the immune system. I feel it immediately when I have a bit of white sugar in something. Mm -hmm. I can feel my immune system just kind of go, mm. oh, yeah. right? Because mm -hmm. when I eat really good and get that raw juice and I eat my salad and my eggs and my and my smoothie, I feel I can really feel my immune system go, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you get that white sugar, or when I drink coffee or black tea, I can feel mm, just kind of see if you can notice that. Mm -hmm. Um, not chewing your food depresses your immune system because you're slowing down your digestion. See, all of this stuff that we're talking about ultimately suppresses the immune system. Salt. Mm -hmm. Salt. Too much salt? Yeah, I must be processed. Right. The, the, 
the bad foods, the sad diet, all the stuff, the chemicals, the processed foods, the caffeine, the drugs, the um, all the drugs, like even the uh, the Tylenol and all of that that people just feel free to pop in their mouth, totally suppresses the, the immune system. I mean, at first you might feel lower inflammation, but the fact that the body has to process that is hard on the liver for one, you all know that. You, you feel when you take Tylenol or ibuprofen that you get immediately constipated, right? Things like that. Maybe, maybe not. And so constipation. I can't remember taking it. I yeah, don't know. <laughs> All right. Yeah, no. Yay. Yes. I don't take it. And if you do have an inflammatory response, what are some natural anti-inflammatories? Um, ginger. Ginger. Cinnamon. Yep. Those are the big ones. Uh, Garlic. Garlic. Onions to some extent. Onions, yep. Yeah. All your vegetables, all oh, yeah. your fruits, because they're antioxidant, meaning anti radical, meaning anti inflammation. Mm. Herbs. Mm -hmm. Everything that you're doing in food is medicine. Is medicine. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go figure. <laughs> it's truly. Medicine, when you start to go into beyond the 50% and you're in the 80%, 50, you know, 80, uh, 20, now everything that you're doing in this is so medicinal. It's not just eating. Now you're really living medicinally. Okay. So we know how the immune system is compromised, the sad diet, and everything we've been talking about as far as what to avoid. And what, how to change your life, how to eat properly, the, the, the um, food combinations, remember that too. Number five. So here we are. Okay. Oh, you know what? This is really important. Let's take a look at the gut. Okay. So we all, we're talking about these probiotics. That's probably one of the biggest things of this, of this food as medicine and of health right now. Food, probiotics, probiotics, probiotics. Well, why? Why in the world? Your intestinal lining, your small intestines specific, specifically, where the nutrition uptake takes place, that is getting compromised. This is the biggest, biggest, biggest thing that's compromising people's immunity and the biggest thing that is causing autoimmune deficiencies, autoimmune diseases, symptoms, <laughs> symptoms, right? They're not diseases, they're symptoms. They're the body just saying, look, you're not doing, you're not living and you're not eating right. So this is how I'm going to respond. I'm going to cause, you know, irritable bowel syndrome. I'm just going to cause your bowels to be irritated. This is not a disease. This is just, you're not eating right. So... The, intest the small intestinal, the, the walls of these small intestines, they have these like building block cells. They're called enterocytes. And they're the, the bricks that are the walls of your small intestines. And they feed, so the good bacteria, you need to have a proliferation of probiotics living, thriving, permeating the small, the, the, throughout your body. That flora, that bacteria feeds, feeds the wall of the small intestines, which feed lymphocytes, which create immunoglobulin response, immunoglobulin antibodies. So now we're going into a whole other direction. Of immune, of immune system, right? So the gut is definitely the first place, the main place. This is where you want your body to be able to ward off and defend against anything coming in, is the gut. Once that wall has been breached because of the sad diet, because of bad eating practices, because of excessive eating of the wrong things, or just excessive eating in general, you know, all this stuff we're talking about, the walls of the small intestines get breached. We talked about this when we were talking about healing the gut. 
So now people right now in modern society are having some level of leaky gut where that wall has been breached. And now there's holes in the intestinal lining. Very, you know, minute holes, but enough for toxins and things that you smell, molecules of uh, tobacco smoke, molecules of horrible chemical-laden perfumes. Now there's going right into your bloodstream. And you want to understand why there's such a rise of autoimmune problems and conditions. It's because the, gut, the lining of people's guts are compromised. Things are now no longer contained just within the gut, where the first line of defense, those enterocytes, those cells that make up the wall, can fight them one-on-one. -on -one. Now they're going directly into your bloodstream, and every system in your body is freaking out because these proteins, these molecules, these toxins are now in the blood immediately. And so the biggest problem, this is why we, are, we try to go towards gluten-free as much as possible and even uh, dairy-free and sugar-free and all that, but mainly the gluten and the casein, is that those two proteins in particular, the casein and the gluten, mimic the, the cells the, the casein mimic the cells in the pancreas, which causes the immune system to attack itself there. It doesn't know the difference. It's, it's this, this casein protein is getting, this is not for everybody, but to some degree this is true on, uh, to a certain level for everybody. Some people are totally lactose intolerant, and you can, you can see the link it, that it has to diabetes and insulin resistance, because the body is going... That shouldn't be here, and that looks like the, pan the, the beta cells of the pancreas. So I'm going to attack the beta cells of the pancreas, too. Insulin resistance, right? So this is a problem. Where And so are you going to bandage that and give them diabetic ins insulin? Or are you going to realize that the gut needs to be healed, and that's the real source of the leakage? You're never fixing the problem if you're keeping the tap on. So, this is a huge, this is probably the crux of this food is medicine. That modern post-industrial food supply has caused people on some level, and if not now, gradually, if you don't change your diet, your, your gut lining is being compromised. And when are you going to wait? I mean, that's the cause of all, that is the source of all these conditions. When you've got things leaking into your blood supply that shouldn't be there, everything in your system doesn't has no intelligence at all anymore. Now it's just, wow. Now this is where all these fibromyalgia, Crohn's disease, all these things, muscular, um, MS, um, all these things, and people have, have no idea. I all of a sudden I just got sick. No, it wasn't just all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. You've been building this up based on what you've been choosing to eat and how you've been choosing to eat. We understand this now. Or toxicity that you've been exposed yes, that to, you, and that you have not been detox that you have not released out of the body. So Ayurveda is all about getting the ama out. Ama is toxins. Every Ayurvedic practice, the oilation, um, all the, the foods, the herbs, it's all about reducing toxicity out of the body. And so that's why I like to post on Facebook that, that one post, um, everyone's focused on uh, uh, calories, and they're not focused on chemicals in the food. We need to get the toxicity out for, for the body to come into its proper shape. Forget about weight. Everyone has a different weight. Everyone has a beautiful different weight and a beautiful different shape. And you will discover that when you actually take care of your body and feed it. Your shape, your size is unique to you and you will find that if you are consistent 80, at least 80% of the time with this. But you have to give it time. You can't just expect when you've been 30, 40, 50 something years eating a certain way and now you're really consciously doing food as medicine and being mindful about you can't expect a rapid change when the whole your whole life you've been doing antibiotics um, birth control 
um, junk food. You've built that up for years. <laughs> you know, so it's going to take time. So this is a serious problem. Like, so when people are dealing with these conditions, every condition, every disease can be improved through this. Getting your vegetables, reducing your intake, you know, all the things that the guidelines of food as medicine, you will improve, I promise you, you will improve to some level. And the deeper you go into this, the deeper you will start to reverse the actual illness and the actual cause of all these symptoms that people are covering up so that you can just continue, you know? So this takes dedication. So that's why retreats are really, really helpful because you can go deep, someone else can cook for you, someone else can tell you what to drink, someone else can tell you how to move your body for a good, you know, I, myself, I'm ready to go on a bone broth fast, you know, I, you know, to really, and it's not that, you know, someone will look at me and go, well, I thought, you, you know, you seem healthy, and I'm like, no, I've had many antibiotics in my life, my parents didn't just, you know, teach us to eat authentic Philippine food, we had tons of fast food, I was on birth control pills for 10 years. Um, geez, what else? There's a few other things, you know. You look at that stuff. Oh, and vaccines. I've had vaccinations. Um, I've had tons of dental work. I, no, I don't have any mercury fillings, but that's another thing. If you have mercury fillings, you need those out of your mouth. Totally affects your thyroid. Totally affects your hormonal balance. you got to get those out of your mouth. So, could I ask a question back a little ways? And, and if you want to answer it later, because it maybe is only of interest to me, you can tell me that. But my puzzle right now, since my immunoglobulin A, IgA, is up, even though for since May 25th I've not had any wheat, am I supercharging my immune system by eating all this fabulous food for the immune system? Totally. And Is so that good or bad? Because... I've got this immune response that's too high. The fact with gluten, and I think we talked about this last time, allergies. With gluten in particular, it could take, you might eat gluten today, but your body's not going to finally get rid of that. Could be two weeks, could be a month, could be. You might see, you, you might see the effects of you eating gluten today, mm -hmm. two months down the road, and that's why, you know, allergy testing is kind of um, difficult when you're eating. It's gluten. been three months. Mm -hmm. I'd say between yeah. my first test and my second test, my my IgA was higher. And I don't know. Maybe I need to talk to my doctor about this too, or maybe some of the medical professionals here could weigh in, but. When you have an autoimmune issue, is is there any danger in stoking the immune system? Because we're talking about stoking the immune system, but my immune system's already kind of over-responding. So do you want to not a, stoke your immune system right now? I don't know. I mean, I just feel a little bit of, like, that's a, a, a pretty real question for me. Sit with that. Because you, you, I think you, you said it pretty clearly, the way that you worded it. And I think that the natural intelligence will come. Don't fight for an answer right now. Okay. But I, I think you were really clear about asking the universe mm -hmm. about that. I think that's a really legitimate question. Mm -hmm. um, but right now, I would say, my, the one thing I would say is to be patient with the body. The body heals itself when you mm -hmm. give it the right conditions. Mm -hmm. And it takes time. Yeah. And so you're going to sometimes see the opposite effect before you see the, the one you're looking for because that's the body balancing itself out. Just like in yoga, if I hurt my right shoulder, my left hip is gonna to start to act up. If I hurt my left hip, my right ankle is gonna... The body balances itself out using the opposite sometimes mm -hmm. until it can finally come back. Mm -hmm. So that's the only thing that I'd have to contribute to that, but I think that to sit with that legitimately mm -hmm. and, and really feel it out but I would definitely not say to not I mean you're eating 95% from what I hear you're eating really well according to this mm -hmm. and what you're asking me is if you shouldn't if you should stop doing that mm -hmm. and that doesn't make sense to me mm -hmm. 
right? I would not tell you to not eat like this because you're building your immunity through your eating and what you're doing and you're exercising and you're... My initial response is give it time. The body will balance it out because because you're changing your daily lifestyle and your habits. And the, it doesn't seem that when you get blood tests that it fluctuates. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So. And many things come into play as far as why that's fluctuating and not just. Yeah. The, yeah that, there's many that things could be. involved. So hang in there. Yeah, it, it's mysterious to me. But you're doing it's great. I, I would not I feel want great. you to do anything less. Yeah. Doing yeah, it doesn't. It, it's not intuitive to like not eat garlic or you know something that would boost my. It all feels right to do. Yeah, let's talk about that more. I want to say that more. I do want to say that more. Okay. Okay, thank you. Um, interesting stuff, huh? Ooh. Okay. So the second line of immunity and how you know it is activated. So your first line is the probiotics in your intestines. We're going to wrap this up here pretty quick. That should take care of most of what you, what you come across that shouldn't be in the body. So that's why this food is medicine is really important. We need to reseal our gut. We need to heal our gut. And if you keep eating the wrong things and, you, and you're doing your bone broth and you're doing your aloe vera, it, you're, you haven't turned the tap off. You know, you're still going to be mopping up. So try to raise those percentages, heal the gut. Um, the second line is this, this hypersensitive reaction because these molecules are getting in the blood and this is my big problem I have a lot of allergies so I know my gut is needs consistent I need to be really regimental about it I get a lot of allergies more off, more than other people I know this about myself I'm sneezing and I'm like okay what is going on my body's telling me that my gut has been compromised and I need to heal it, and I get, need to get serious about it. And when I do, I'm not sneezing as much. I'm not as sensitive to light and molecules and smells and people's perfumes. But then when I'm not at a certain level with my food as medicine, I can feel myself get more sensitive. My immunity is down. I can feel it and start to sneeze. So the signs of this second line of, of immunity, which is your T cells, right? So once things enter the blood, now... This is the T cells in your thymus, this is the, the, the lymph system, this is the blood. You don't want to, you know, you really want your gut lining to be healthy. That is what's going to really fortify your, your health. Once you start existing with this kind of reaction going on, now that's really it's serious because things are entering your blood and the blood in your body is being taxed. It's being taxed. The immunity is going down. You're having to fight things in the fluids of the lymph and in the blood. So you know that this is activated when your eyes are watering, you're sneezing a lot, there's a lot of itchy, right? These are symptoms and responses of the body that tell you that things are entering the bloodstream that shouldn't be there. And remember, what you put on your skin immediately goes into your bloodstream. Mm -hmm. So just things to evaluate, you know, what's going on in your body with what you're doing. So let's heal the gut. Number six, so autoimmune diseases. So these autoimmune diseases where the body is now attacking itself stems from leaky gut, a bad, compromised gut because things are going into the blood. That needs to be really clear. Right? Jennifer in that first or second workshop was like, the body shouldn't be attacking itself. Yeah? If everybody, everything's sealed and functioning right and you're getting the right nutrition, the body doesn't attack itself. But here we are in the modern age and everyone's body, every a lot, not everyone, but a lot of people with these conditions. It's, it's happening. I mean, how many people do we know that are chronically or have fibromyalgia and MS and Crohn's and irritable bowel and all these things? Mm -hmm. Do we all know someone? Mm 
My mother yeah, had lupus. Many. Lupus. Mm. And all the medications they gave her, I think, is what killed her. It was poison. Mm. She was on a lot of meds. But her diet was awful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. All the processed foods. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we all know someone or some, yeah? Okay. I bet we all know many people. Yeah. 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 Ugh. So this is why I'm passionate, because people are getting more sick, and people are and not, and they're not only getting more sick, but they're getting sick from things that are totally preventable. Mm -hmm. And so that's where the passion comes. Mm -hmm. Because if we have... You know, as a yoga teacher, if we have sick people in this, in this, on this planet, then we can't be of service to each other. We can't do the right thing. We can't stop these companies. We can't do the right thing for the planet. We need to be healthy so that we have the right life force to stand up for the right things and have the guts and the warriorship to do this work. 